This is Cybert signing into Kane's Wrath on the map, Tournament Odyssey. In the bottom left-hand corner as the green black hand, this is Technique. And in the top right-hand corner as the blue Zocom, this is Encore. This is an older game. By the way, uh, once again, a community-made map tournament odyssey got a couple of spikes out here and then as you guys can see two expansion fields so three fields each player a little expansion point near your third field this as i mentioned is an old game and uh oh by the way random zocom so encore did not choose zocom he did uh randomly get dealt zocom but uh this is an older game it was uh it was played while I was, uh, when I wasn't casting any games, so it's possible that someone else has casted this. I have not seen this game. Uh, you may have seen someone else cast it, but hopefully at this point you've already forgotten, and so you can just enjoy it like it's a new game. But yes, this is an old game. So I was uh, looking for some stuff to, uh, to find, and uh, straight into the operations center. Only one power plant. Technique. You doing yourself a little MCV cell, flame rush all in? It's possible. Will he actually sell his MCV though? We'll have to find out. He's going for a Reckoner rush. Two black hand squads on the inside. And uh, Encore, he's going to find out about it in just a few seconds. Rifleman squad passes the Redeemer. The Redeemer. The Reckoner. Would be very early for a Redeemer to be popping out. And he's going to transition at least into one more Harvester. So it looks like this is just an aggressive opening. And uh, one Black Hand Squad does get sent out. Pitbull on the lookout for this sort of thing. Going to be chasing that Reckoner away. And uh, this aggressive opener has been pretty much shut down so far by Encore. Now, as always, you can potentially sneak these guys in at a little bit of a different angle a little bit later. And for now, Technique will be pulling on back to make sure that he can get those repairs. So, thank you guys very much for watching, by the way. I have I have notes written over to the side, but uh, sometimes I don't get to all the notes because stuff starts happening in the game. But I did want to say, uh, I'm very glad that people are enjoying the games, have been enjoying the casts, and I definitely forgot uh, all the things that I learned many, many years ago. Double War Factory Pitbull, by the way, from Encore. All the things that I learned many, many years ago about casting and about how to cast and, like, I forgot that you have to spend, you know, 80% of the game just watching the minimap because otherwise you miss stuff. So I'm kind of relearning how to commentate properly. And uh, it's been a long time. So I thank you guys for, for bearing with me. For I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the games. But thank you guys for watching. And uh, it's just it's nice that even though I'm rusty and I'm not as good as a commentator as I once was that as I'm getting back into the swing of things, that people are still enjoying the games, that people are still uh, liking the stuff. So thank you guys very much, and uh, I promise things will probably get better from here on out. If I don't improve from here, then uh, then you can give my permission to stop watching. But that being said, Pitbull's going to be facing off against Scorpions in the middle of the map, and I don't think that Reckoner, speaking of watching the minimap, I haven't been watching the minimap, I don't think that Reckoner ever actually made its way in, but it will right now get spotted by this Pitbull in the middle of the map. The Pitbulls do turn around. They're going to be trying to deal with this. There's the set down. Going to be trying to flame down this refinery, but he's not going to quite get it with the Reckoner there. Nice block from the silo, and there's the kill. No evac, and I mean, he was surrounded by APCs, so... Encore was going to be shutting that down no matter what. Four or five bikes on the right-hand side going to be heading out potentially for a little hit and run. Still got a Rifleman squad in this foxhole. Does Encore. He's keeping an eye on Technique, trying to make sure that he's got eyes on different places of the map. Oh, there's also these uh, defensive turrets and an EMP center in the middle of the map. Did not actually mention that. Occasionally, you see a player grab a defensive turret or on, uh, like, uh, I think it's Tournament Decision, which also has them. And you'll see someone grab it, and sometimes if it goes unchecked, it can do a crazy amount of damage. A couple of mines getting dropped down here, but it doesn't matter. The Scorpion tanks are going to be backing away to safety. This is a lot of pits. This is a lot of APCs. 
and that's some mines even going down on top of the scorpion tanks trying to even the numbers harvesters are the real goal here but the scorpion tanks are giving a good fight two harvesters going down the pits earning their keep more scorpion tanks starting to roll in but this is just so many pit bulls on the back end bikes going for their own harvester kills it looked like one down maybe a couple more will get eliminated but still so many pit bulls from encore able to just muscle down those scorpion tanks they're bleeding off slowly a lot of these pit bulls are low hp but as a second second war factory sell off it looks like a lot of these pit bulls are low hp and they will start to get carved away by technique but uh yeah a lot of focus firing potential here for technique and for now the harvesters are safe the harvesters on the main field that is but really technique wants to get this expansion up and running so this is a huge delay to his economy and these pit bulls it looks like they're mostly just going to be sacrificed here by encore to the slow bleed of the scorpion tanks but he's keeping the armies low while he gets his own expansion up and running two harvesters already on that field and one or two more scorpion tanks may end up dying the trades are generally okay for for encore i mean he's doing a pretty good job mcv cell pretty good job of uh keeping the scorpion tank numbers low eventually he's gonna have to pull back though because the numbers are just overwhelming and uh really one field but a second refinery on a second field so it's gonna be a relatively low econ game for technique he's got a lot of harvesters well i guess he could long distance harvest but like yeah as you can see here the harvesters are just gonna be backed up outside of his one refinery on his one good field pitbulls that huge attack four of them do escape and uh encore what is his transition after this uh he's just going into pred tanks so gonna be trying to i assume he's gonna be teching up but for now he's just gonna try and stabilize on his new field if he can get a second refinery up he will already be in a better economic spot than technique although again technique he's got that amazing control he's got that amazing legacy that uh that he represents he's turned a lot of games around in a lot of different times and uh that refinery is still at low hp but uh at tib silo still blocking could be sold off there not that it's really not that it really matters but there's the second refinery more predator tanks more pit bulls encore going to be guarding his expansion field and technique coming in for the cleanup looks like everything was sold off well almost everything was sold off as encore probably could defend this he doesn't i'm guessing he doesn't want to leave himself vulnerable to a potential counterattack from technique sneaky sneaky technique but everything there cleaned up or sold off pred tanks on the line for the defense and technique sells off one war factory could be rebuilding his mcv now that he's survived and yep there's the mcv gonna be popping on out he's gonna be trying to get up another refinery out here on the expansion field could also be going for something a little bit more aggressive but uh one harvester going to be surviving and that scorpion tank is dead so okay there's the reinforcements for technique gonna be able to push these pit bulls away eventually they may suicide themselves to try and get another harvester kill technique he's got the control to keep the harvesters alive and one more shot would take it out but it does survive with just a smidge of health technique able to keep that harvester alive able to keep his hopes and dreams alive looks like it's going to be an infantry transition and uh back into the double war factory encore still no uh no further transition from here drops the armory sells off one of the war factories and i guess for now he's going to be going with a little bit of man spam as well drops a second rax and uh there's the secret shrine he's going to be purchasing i assume uh black hand disciples is that the name of the upgrade? yeah or black disciples i guess not black hand disciples but uh going to be purchasing that upgrade and ah, technique did actually grab that tower I keep seeing Am I crazy? On the minimap, it looks like there's a blue dot there. Like there's some kind of engineer or something for, uh, for Encore. Pitbulls do get spotted on the right-hand side. This one rifleman squad hanging out inside of Technique's base, just trying to see what's what. A bunch of rocket squads going to be showing up, and uh, it could be a good idea to potentially drop some more defenses. I mean, if the squishes are good, then this could this entire attack could be dealt with, but 
Those Black Hand members can be really tough to eliminate. A couple of Rifleman squads going to be running forward. And it looks like I'm assuming AP Ammo is going to be on the way at some point. There's the reinforcements coming in for Encore. Scorpion Tanks going to be eventually eliminating this one Rifleman squad. And it looks like the Pitbulls did go in for some harassment. Potentially able to clean up a a uh, harvester or two, but they get pushed away. Quarter to tanks, rocket troopers, finally, finally cleaning up that attack. A couple of units may end up going down to this defensive turret, and uh, looks like Technique is trying to be efficient. He's trying to uh, to stay in this game, and he's got his economy back up and going. Loses the tower, but at least he knows, you know, he can see the attack. All of the attack apparently is turning around, so it's not actually coming at that timing. There's the airfield. We're starting to see a little bit of diversification by Encore, and I mean, at this point, it's almost worth it just to hop back over to that main field to uh, to throw down one refinery before moving on to his third expansion. Although, could send an engineer over there to cap that, cap the expansion point. Technique. Going to be burning down this one Tiberium Spike and then probably moving on to try and burn down the other one. One refinery, kind of a long distance, but definitely better than nothing. Pitbulls return home, and it's zone shattering time. I I completely forgot that he was Zocom this entire time. I've been thinking that he's just, uh, you know, look, I know he's got the rocket harvesters, but this entire time I've been thinking that he's just playing GDI. I forgot that he was actually playing Zocom. Zorkas can be extremely effective as uh, anyone who's had some clumped up units get absolutely destroyed by Zorkas, then, uh, then you know the frustration there. But we'll have to see if Technique falls prey to that. A couple of Harvesters could be taking some damage from this bombing run. And eventually, this tip spike will go down. For now, the battle marker will just continue to draw our attention away from the rest of the map. Did some damage, but no follow-up means no kill. Kill of a... I don't know what that was. Maybe a flame tank from uh, from Technique. Trying to be sneaky. Trying to sneak something around the side. Scorpion tank's going to be spotting the expansion. Finally does have AP ammo, so his defenses and his APCs or anything else is going to be a little bit more effective. One harvester goes down immediately there. And the scorpion tanks, they may be able to fight for a little while. But once all the forces get here, they will not be able to stand up against the might of Encore. And once again, getting distracted by the battle markers over there with that tip spike. Hammerhead, looks like he's got both of the upgrades. What is that, ceramic armor? Yeah, the ceramic armor upgrade for those hammerheads. Zork is going to be... Not quite taking out that defensive tower. They got close, but they didn't quite do it. Another flame tank getting sniped there. So Technique being sneaky with those flame tanks. Does need to expand out to a third field at some point, although he could transfer, you know, two more harvesters over to that main field and get some pretty good use out of it. Third field is guarded by these pit bulls, so that's going to be a little bit difficult for him. <laughs> he even sent over a mantis. Technique wanting to keep that defensive tower safe. And, I mean, that does give him eyes, at least kind of, you know, not in the middle of the map, but on the side of the map, so that if there are any sneaky, sneaky attacks going for these harvesters, he's going to be able to spot them. Purifiers now out onto the field, and the Redeemer Engineering Facility is up. Redeemer most likely on the way. And Technique looking to bring that big T4 armor so that he can try and seal this game off once and for all. Keeping his fields low, Encore. He's got a pretty good economy rolling, I assume. Reclamator Hub would be would be next, although um, I don't actually see Tier 3. So I guess he's going to be going Tier 3 and then potentially going into a Marv. But we'll have to see from Encore. Mantis trying to chase down these Hammerheads. They're doing what they can to avoid them. But uh, this many Hammerheads is a little too many for that one single Mantis. De is able to claim, I think, two of those Hammerheads, though. Second Mantis does show up. The Redeemer has risen. And there's the call of the Redeemer. Tech Center up for 
Encore, and that's a lot of Harvesters completely exposed. They got a reverse move out of there, and they're like, oh, this was a bad idea. Encore maybe not quite realizing the opportunity that he has to at least kill one of them. He doesn't have to go for all of them, but he can at least kill that one, and he does finally get it. Once again, things have kind of slowed down here. Purifiers, the Redeemer. I'm assuming a couple of engineers on the way to jump inside of that Redeemer. For now, nothing is going to be inside of that Redeemer. They're just hanging out. A couple of rockets, a couple of purifiers, and a Redeemer. Jumping in there with a couple of rocket squads, I guess. I want to make sure that he takes care of those Zocom air units. Sonic Committer on the front line could definitely wreak havoc on these infantry. Zone Chatterers as well going to be getting some hits in, and there's the Rage Gen going off. A couple of Predator tanks going to be hard targeting their friends, and it looks like some pretty massive splash damage there going down. A Rage Gen that was not wasted, but is it going to be enough? This defenses with the Zone Shatterers are making pretty quick work of this army. Shockwave Artillery going to be getting in on the mix, and soon the Redeemer stands pretty much alone, but on the back end, Scorpion Tank and Amantis going to be moving into the original main base of Encore, trying to take out the infrastructure, trying to take down some of that economy, or at least, you know, some of the important stuff of Encore. This Redeemer, he's going to have to get on out of there. He's not going to do a whole lot else. Zocom Orca is going to be showing up. He's going for the crushes, gets one Harvester on the front lines, but he's going to eventually be gunned down, going for the... Tech, I assume. Right now, he's just shooting some rifleman squads, potentially going to be going for the aircraft as well. Trying to eliminate that airfield to keep those Zorkas off of the map. And uh, Scorpion Tanks right now just kind of hanging out. Mar finally out on the field, able to deal with that Redeemer. And Zone Raiders on the field. One squad at least, but these Scorpion Tanks, they can just walk on out of here. I mean, they don't have to stay and fight if they don't want to. Going to be going for some crushes, crushing who and what they can, but uh, won't get them all. We'll have to pull out of here eventually. And Marv slowly on the move. One unit in there as an upgrade, but uh, looks like the other Zone Raider squads are hanging out over here. They haven't quite met up with the Marv just yet. Hammerheads run in, and that's a bit of a mistake. That's a lot of missile squads here, but not quite enough to necessarily deal with the Marv. Reinforcements getting called in. Sniper teams, one of them does get sniped as it is on the way. That Mantis, what the heck is it doing over there? Got left behind by Technique. And you don't want to necessarily engage all of this with no support. Sniper teams are going to be here to try and even the odds. And the Zor uh, Zorkas and the Zone Raiders are here to try and eliminate some of those infantry. They want to stay away from the Black Hand squads. And this combination of backing up and just leading all of these infantry units into a meat grinder is working pretty well for now. Hammerhead's going to be coming in for the cleanup, and those black hand squads are so difficult to deal with. They're so uh, resilient as they just take a lot of shots to be able to kill them off. Technique. Finally expanding out. He's got two refineries on his new field. Once again, stuff is starting to regrow. The game is long enough that the first and second fields are becoming viable. Once again, airfield gets rebuilt by Encore. Able to keep pretty much everything else alive. And double, triple, quadruple hand of nod for Technique. He's going to be going with the cheap man spam trying to get this Marv. And if he can get close enough, he can... He can uh, even things out here, but it's just a lot of damage that he's going to be taking over time. Eventually, he will be able to find these sniper teams. He is able to waste them with the flames and going to be trying to close in on the Marv. He has enough rocket squads if they can just stay in range and do the damage that they need. One engineer going to be jumping in there, providing a little bit of repairs, and Shockwave Artillery going to be coming in, doing some pretty big hits, some pretty massive damage. He needs to just stop the rocket troopers, and that's just enough damage you think he's gonna get it barely no more reinforcements coming onto the front line surely that's not quite enough a pixel of health that's it the marv goes down explodes out and these rocket troopers they have stories to tell but they won't get the chance because they're all going to get killed <laughs> they just all get eliminated by the rifleman squads and really that uh, that one rocket harvester doing some massive work 
resetting the uh, the tier four there, and well, he sold off the Reclamator hub, so he sold off the Reclamator hub, so I think I said sell off, but he sold off that and then uh, just went to a war factory, so. A little bit of a reset of the tech tree, not really a reset. This one mantis, these mantises, they just, they show up everywhere. And Technique, he's very sneaky with them. Once again, the defensive tower, getting some, getting some uh, shots in there. And this expansion going pretty much unchecked. There were pit bulls here for a long time, and Encore was doing a pretty good job of keeping eyes on Technique. But in the last couple of minutes, Technique, the man spam transition has worked out for him. And he's been able to go pretty much unchecked for a little while. Zone Chatterer gets shut down. And uh, these two towers are going to help do a good bit of damage. This uh, this man spam will eventually be defeated. They're going to try and get a couple of extra kills. They don't quite get that Zone Chatterer. They are going to get the tower. And it uh, looks like they will be finally finished off there as another tower does go down. Spots the timing of the Marv. Gets eyes on it exactly. Still four hands of nod could transition a harvester back to that field if he wants to builds a fifth hand of nod there i do wonder at the end of some of these games like because how many how many uh hand of nods are, is the total created over the course of like a, a black hand game especially someone like bike rush or technique who build and then sell off so 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 many buildings over the course of a normal game the defense holds here the man spam, not really spam, but the infantry attack thwarted from technique. Not able to really make anything happen. Never able to finish cleaning up that Tiberium spike. The hammerhead cleared it out, and uh, technique didn't really make a second chance, make a second run at it. Encore, not a big believer in uh, in repairing his buildings. Refineries usually not worth it, and with this little Tiberium, it may not be worth it. But boy, if that uh, if someone sneezes on that, and then you lose the opportunity to have two harvesters dumping at the same time. You're going to be kicking yourself. Orbital strike coming down and this this is the Marv that is a little more prepared. He's not going into battle without his friends. He's got sniper teams close. He's got two engineers for a little bit better survivability. Looks like power plant got sniped there by that attack and he's going to actually be going for the Tiberium of your opponent. That's a sneaky sneaky move. Encore is going for, and a classic way to get some extra value out of your units. Raider buggies, three of them rush in, and that's one lockdown, but really you need, you're probably going to need more than one. Although, maybe not, this is a lot of rocket troopers, and they can kind of stutter step forward. Shockwave artillery doing massive damage to these rockets, eliminating a lot of them, and now the hammerhead's going to be coming in trying to clean things up. May, will it be enough that it remains to be seen? That one engineer going for the, for the cap on on that going for the cap on that tip spike not quite going to get it with that emp and the marv barely escapes more rocket troopers going to be rushing on forward and that engineer has been spotted encore has perhaps sent this guy to his doom raider buggy is going to be trying to get it they do get the kill just in the nick of time there and once again selling off of the re selling off the reclamator hub and the war factory going to be going for right now Okay, so he rebuilds the War Factory for the repairs, but right now he was just rolling with that single barracks and the War, fa war Factory. And the airfield as uh, as he's holding the line. Encore unable to make any real damage happen. Those EMPs comboed with the sheer number of rocket troopers provided like just enough damage. That was a huge amount of damage laid out on the Marv very quickly. One Rifleman squad going to be running on up not exactly sure what this guy is going to be doing. Radio Buggy's on the scout. Going to be checking out what exactly Encore has been doing back in his old main base. And Technique, he's going to be doing the old Tiberium shuffle, switching his harvesters from his third field back to his second field, and maybe even one of them, or a second one of them, off to his main field. Just to make sure, keep it low, so that there's no clear targets for this Marv to go and hunt down. Samsite's going to be going down, trying to stop these hammerheads with uh, Zone Raiders inside of them from doing too much damage. If they can get some good shots on these Harvesters like that, they will be able to eliminate them. Going to be getting chased away for now. Probably needed a couple more hammerheads with Zone Raiders inside of them to really make that attack work. 
Because when they drop the sand turret, as you guys can see, you can snipe the actual individual turrets fast enough, but you still need a good amount of firepower to be able to clean up the harvesters quickly. Marv walking on out. Time, time for another go of it. And uh, Encore, I assume, he's gonna he's gonna bring some of the stuff with him. Even if he just built, like you know, a hundred rifleman squads, that would be better. Obviously, sniper teams would be probably the preferred choice in that situation. But uh, even even rifleman squads would just help thin the herd. He could be relying more on the shockwave artillery. There's going to be a little bit of a decoy army absorbing a couple of shots there from the Marv trying to distract him. And there's the pullback EMP buggies. They're coming in. Three of them. One trying to get the lockdown. It does get eliminated. The second one and the third do as well. Fourth gets sniped and more bikes going to be coming in. They've got that Tibcor missiles. They eliminate a couple of hammerheads there before getting chased away and the bikes bringing in some shots. Shockwave artillery going to be raining down on this infantry and eliminating enough of the rocket troopers that Encore feels confident turning his Marv back into drive from reverse and pressing on forward. Still might want to bring some of these reinforcements here to try and seal the deal. These bikes can, I mean, they're paper-thin armor, as we all know, but with those Tibcor missiles, they can do a good amount of damage in a very short amount of time. More Raider buggies potentially on the way from Technique. Going to be using those EMPs to try and lock things down. There are the sniper teams and the hammerheads to help deal with this. There's the hammerheads going to be running defense, and zone... Zone Shatter is going to finally be getting in on the action. All of the bikes do go down, which gives the Hammerheads a little bit more free reign. They have a little bit less to worry about from the Rocket Troopers than the bikes. Bikes going to be revealing the sniper teams as they press on forward, trying to eliminate the infantry threat so the Marv can actually do its stuff and clean up this base of technique. Although he does have the, uh, the Shredder Turret upgrade, the Charged Particle Beam... So his turrets are going to be a bit more effective, especially in mass, trying to be able to uh, push away this Marv. Zone Chatter is not going to be joining in, and the Marv is going for a little bit of a weird reverse move there. Zorka is going to be coming in, going for a snipe on that, sh on that Shredder turret. Field slowly regrowing and technique. He's holding strong on the defense just now, and without, without Encore bringing too much else with it he's gonna he's gonna be hard pressed to actually break this army obelisk does go down that investment did not get technique basically anything and zone chatter is going into that lockdown mode firing away but slowly carving away at this infantry army is he gonna be able to break him technique is he just out of money he doesn't have his four hands of nod here anymore which means no more big swell of infantry for him. I didn't even realize Technique grabbed those towers. Someone's probably yelling about it. Ooh, the Sonic Emitter slow base push with the double MCV. Going to be pushing Technique out of his original main base and harvesting away some of that Tiberium going to be trying to grab the tip spikes as well. There's a war factory there, the extra repairs, as well as any potential uh, body blocking there if he wants to drop turrets on the other side. But there's the pullback, the sell-off by Technique. Encore, just going to be remotely harvesting this uh, this field. No, no harvesters or refineries needed. Double hand of Nod, producing lots and lots of rocket troopers. Not a third hand of Nod just yet. And there's the long distance harvest from Encore. Technique still got his uh still got his MCV, but he never actually moved it back to try and uh to try and take advantage of anything. He could have been trying to pull a little bit of an Encore, you know, move his MCV, and actually this could be a big mistake from Encore, moves one of his MCVs forward. It is gonna get eliminated. He got the value out of it most likely that he wanted because of course when you've got the second MCV, he was able to establish a little bit of a foothold here and more importantly, he was able to push Technique completely back. So that MCV, sacrificial as it though may be, uh, could have been just exactly what he wanted. More Zone Raiders going to be hopping inside of those Hammerheads. A great unit combo, as always, and... Where's this... 
Where's this engineer going? If he captures the EMP control center, I will be so happy. EMP control is so nice in so many situations. It does take a couple of minutes, and of course it's very vulnerable and easy for Encore to just take it out. And if Technique had had it earlier in the game, he might have been able to shut down some of these attacks a little bit easier, wouldn't have been relying on Raider Buggies the entire time. And those Hammerheads just walked into so many rockets, they just had to turn around <laughs> and, uh, and just head home. Trying to eliminate some of these black hand squads, some of these uh, entire black hand squads. Raider buggies and bikes for the support. One watchtower on the on the high ground, trying to uh, trying to dissuade this uh, dissuade this attack from happening. Harvesters going down. Long distance harvester going to be returning could also be vulnerable. And this man spam push from Technique, he could actually get some work done with it. He has to be careful about this Marv about to just eat up the rest of his base, just decides to sell everything off. He's going for a push through the back door, the one MCV. He's gonna have to potentially be pumping out both power plants and base defenses if Technique is able to eliminate enough stuff here. And this is so many Black Hand members right next to that MCV able to sell everything off. Third MCV now out on the field. That War Factory doing good work for Encore. Technique pushing in here. He's going to get the airfield for sure. But that MCV, it may not have been as valuable as he initially thought. This is a good half field worth of Tiberium that he's got potentially to harvest. A lot of bike, a lot of buggy as the transition. And everything gets cleaned up from Technique. Those hammerheads doing absolutely huge amounts of work for Encore. There's the big rush in. The bikes, can they actually do anything while the EMP locks down the Marv? Going to be throwing the laser fence on the MCB to help it survive a little bit longer. There's the Zone Raiders inside of those hammerheads doing huge splash damage. They need to get these Raider buggies, but they're so scared of the bikes. So close to getting eliminated, and that's a good kill for those on those bikes. One more Raider buggy. Two more do get eliminated there, but two do survive. There's the final kill on those Raider Buggies, which means now the Marv can survive. It can rest easy, knowing that it can harvest all of this Tiberium for Encore if he wants. Encroaching ever closer, ever closer on Technique's base. Technique not able to make anything work. The bike's chasing around those hammerheads and not actually doing the damage to the Marv, but you gotta chase the hammerheads because otherwise they will totally kill you. And this whole little pocket of base, if Technique could have crushed this at some point earlier in the game, he would have uh, he would have found it a little bit of an easier situation in the hole, but Encore not giving him any space and uh there's the extra MCV. So he is going to be doing, once again, MCV base pushes. And Encore putting a lot of money, definitely, into just building MCVs. Technique not dec deciding not to uh, to go for the crush there with those harvesters. MP Raider Buggy is going to be locking down this Marv. And without any support, I assume some base defenses are getting constructed. There's going to be some Rifleman squads going to be going for the defense. And finally, the Hammerheads do show up. This is maybe too many bikes at this point, though. With this many bikes and the good control from the Raider Buggies, he's going to be able to crush this Marv, although one Sonic Emitter does go down. Even if he kills the Marv, is he going to be able to stop the base push coming out here? I assume a couple of Watchtowers could go down as well to try and support this Sonic Emitter. Otherwise, one Sonic Emitter is not going to do the job against all of this Nod. Although, if you don't, uh, if you don't hold this position, this MCV is going to be kind of in a bad spot. Throws the laser field. He's got his backup MCV as well. So if this one is forfeit, he's going to be okay. And, man, that Marv. The story of no support for that Marv just tried to march on up into that field and uh, wasn't able into that base and wasn't able to do anything. Hammerheads kept at bay by the bikes. One of them going full heroic. And there's a Rax, but... Again, not enough support. Technique has a mobile army. He can pull around. He can uh, he can find another angle. This airfield on the front lines is going to be very important over the next couple of minutes. Good EMP control here by Technique. And, oh, with this second Sonic emitter, no, it does get shut down. And the first one gets eliminated, which means they, they can't form like a, like a triangle defense. They can't 
trap these bikes in a bad area. If he was able to whittle off the Raider buggies, then maybe the Sonic emitters could have done some more damage. But Technique continuing to just carve away at the base of Encore. And uh, Encore doing a really good job splitting his hammerheads and just dodging in and out when he needs to. Technique can't keep this up forever, but he might be able to keep it up longer than Encore is able to. There's another Sonic Emitter on the front lines. The second one does join it, and the combo of Hammerheads and Sonic Emitters are enough to push this attack back for now. Two barracks on the high ground, but does Encore actually have the economy to support this? That's, uh, that's a good question. He's dropping barracks on the high ground, trying to, uh, trying to keep Technique busy, going for the... Going for the power plants could actually be the way to gain a small foothold here for Encore. One, one infantry squad in the middle of the map. These two war factories representing pretty much everything that Technique has going for him. He's got those tip spikes still. And there's one EMP Raider buggy going to be locking down both of these Sonic emitters. And the Sonic emitters are good, but... He just he can't get the big wins. He's slowly burying everything and finally killing off that heroic bike. He may have finally hit a critical mass, and at this point, he might even be able to just suicide his hammerheads onto these bikes to call it a day. But again, very little support for each of these units. Such a scrappy game overall. And Technique finally has been beaten back. The Sonic emitters have enough headway to make this work. There's the EMP, splits, gets two of the hammerheads, and the other three will survive. A great move there by Technique. Oh, those Orcas narrowly missing absolutely everything, and this, surely this has to be lights out for Technique. Encore just has too much, too close. Now that the Sonic emitters have actually been able, able to establish themselves on the high ground, a couple of watchtowers going to be helping, putting out that constant bit of damage, and the EMP Raider Buggy's getting another lockdown, but it's not enough. Too many bikes have been eliminated here, and Encore looks like he's going to be able to clean everything up. Technique, I genuinely thought he was going to be able to uh, snatch victory from the jaws of defeat there, but Encore not going to let it happen, and it turns out the, like, 5 MCV build was actually the way to go. I was definitely doubting Encore a little bit there in the middle when he was just building so many MCVs, but uh, not a lot to show for it. Overall, of course, up on economy pretty much that entire time. Not actually up as much as I would have thought. It seemed like Technique was behind in the economy, but uh, by more than 700 credits a minute. At any rate, that will do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this pretty crazy game. And this is Cybert, signing out.